What's up guys, Izzy from Endless RV, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the Mira, or at least the Mira that we have on a 2019 Newmar Base Star. You're not gonna to wanna to mess it. We're going away, get your back, check the tag. Decision is made, lock your door, need no more. It's already paid, cancel your mail for a So here's the story guys, for you guys that are followers, you know that we just uh, recently came back from Newmar. Uh, for those of you are just new subscribing or just seeing this video for the first time, I'm gonna tell a story for you. We recently had a trip out to the Newmar Service Center. Uh, we, drove, we were there for several days and then we drove from uh, Napanee, Indiana to Hershey RV Show. Uh, long trip, it was about nine hours or so. Um, we wanted it, we had a place to be at a certain time, so we rushed it a bit. And when you rush, you make mistakes. So here's the mistake we made, and this is a mistake that's going to cost well, that cost us about 300 bucks on Route 80 East, uh, going through Ohio. The toll plazas are rather narrow, at least, but that's the story I'm going to stick with. And going through a, a toll plaza, um, my passenger side mirror had a battle with the toll plaza pole and lost. And this is the result. Uh, what happened was the mirror hit the toll plaza and broke, there's a fiberglass stalk underneath, broke it off, left it hanging on my sidewall. Thankfully, there was no damage to the sidewall. We pulled over, I carried tools on board. I was able to, you know, get the, the mirror off and just cut it out. This mirror is done. Of course, it's heated, it's powered, it's expensive. So. I'm here to show you today what you need or what we're gonna need to replace this. I'm gonna to attempt to do it on my own because I'll try to do anything DIY possible. I'm gonna bring you guys along with it. So I'm gonna put this mirror to the side. This is no longer of use to us. The good thing was uh, the mirror on it actually clearly stayed who the manufacturer was. The manufacturer is actually Remco out of Elkhart, Indiana. So we had just left Indiana and a couple hours later, I find myself on the phone with Remco. So I called them up, they got us a new mirror, shipped in a couple days, made in the USA, uh, same exact mirror. It comes either in chrome or in a raw black. Of course, I had to get it painted. And if you guys have ever tuned into my other videos regarding the um, sewer door that I also broke, um, you know that I had gone through several quotes and I wanted to paint it in myself. However, um, after calling numerous body shops, something must go on with the body shops in Northern New Jersey because business must be booming. They don't, they don't want to do parts. They only want to do only cars. However, a local town body shop, uh, Euro Class Collision in Wanninkee, New Jersey, they stepped up. Uh, they said they would paint the mirror and they charged $70 to paint the mirror, two coats of uh, base, three coats automotive clear. Um, they matched it exact to the paint. I gave them the paint code. So, and it came out beautifully. So it, it's wrapped up right now. You'll see it when it's done, but big thumbs up and shout out to Euroclass uh, Collision in Wanakee, New Jersey. So basically the mirror is broken down into several parts. You have the actual mirror itself. And then you have this part, which is kind of like the pod where it sits in. This is actually a separate part that's sold by Remco, but this wasn't damaged. So when I cut the mirror, you know, I took the mirror out and cut it off. I just put some duct tape on top which you see I have some glue remnants here. Uh, and that was just to keep any moisture out. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna peel this off. I'm gonna take the mirror off, clean it up a bit, and then uh, I'll come back and show you guys how to install the mirror. So guys, what we're gonna need to do this job, or at least what we, I think we're gonna need, because I'm doing it like real time for you guys. Obviously you need a replacement mirror, which is on the left some microfiber towels to uh, clean up any glue remnants. Uh, there's also some silicone I have to clean up there. Um, a drill with a, a drill bit, Phillips head drill bit. Caulk gun with some um, Dow, uh, D-O-W, Dow Industries uh, exterior silicone. This is the same stuff that Numar uses. I call them and that's what they use. Goo gone to take off any of that um, glue residue that's on the, on the pod there from the uh, duct tape and then I have my case of different uh, drill bits and uh, screw head bits but I already have the one I need 
I have a plastic um, scraper to take off any of the old silicone and some paper towels if need be. I also have a ladder. If I need to get up high, I can do that. So I'm gonna take you with me now. Get my trusty drill. Now, when I called uh, Remco, they told me that everything in here is pre-wired and it should just be plug and play. So you guys are gonna find that right now if it is or isn't. There's just four screws holding this in, or so I'm told. I put the uh, extension bit on here so I don't screw up the sidewall. And I'm gonna take this real slow. That's one, I'm gonna just put them right in my back pocket so I don't know, I don't lose them. You want to make sure that you, if you have a, uh, you know, a high torque drill like I do here, just turn it down so it doesn't over crank anything. You don't want to break these parts of plastic, uh, this part here. So you don't want to crank too hard, even though I'm taking it out right now. Just take your time with it. There's no rush. Rush is what caused this problem in the first place. So if I learn anything, it's going to be to take my time. All right, so the four screws are out. I'm going to hope and I'm going to assume that this should, yeah, there it is, it's gonna come right out. It's just being held in by the silicone here. There it is. All right, silicone is held. And sure enough, yes, there is a clip in here. Now, if I can get to that clip, it's gonna be the fun part. So we're gonna cut out right now while I figure this out because it's gonna be pretty boring showing you all this. And we'll get back to you shortly. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I got the pod off here. So a couple things, right? So it's gonna come with a wiring harness, uh, the ends with the connections, and then the little block over here. Obviously the block's not gonna come, not gonna come connected because then you can't run the wiring through the pod. So you gotta, you gotta make sure you run the wiring through the pod until it comes out to the end here. Okay, then it's gonna have a simple connection. Here's your old wiring harness, which was cut off at the end on the old mirror. Here's a new wiring uh, connection and the harness. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna match exactly, it's the same colors. I'm gonna match exactly what was on the old connection with the new connection, okay? So I'm gonna cut off camera, do that, and then I'll bring it back to you when I'm done. All right, guys, so we're back. The wiring harness is wired up. These things just click right in. Just make sure when you do it, even though it looks the same, you actually gotta make sure they're in the same direction, okay? So I matched them up exactly the same. Done with the old wiring harness, okay? So now to get this new um, mirror on the pod, it comes with these little metal brackets here. They're gonna go around as such, I'm gonna assume it goes that way. Okay, put this into the pod. Make sure the cables run tight through. And then it's gonna be held in by two um, set screws. So I'm gonna get this in here. Now you're gonna see the glue uh, remnants from the, uh, from when I had the duct tape on there. That's fine. What I'm gonna do before I put these in, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of blue Loctite so these don't back out. Just a, a little drop. That's one. It comes with the, uh, with the appropriate Allen key. Which honestly, I don't like. I'm gonna wind up go get it my own because Definitely an easy way to do this. All right, guys, so rather than bore you seeing me screw in Allen, uh, the, uh, the set screws, it's three set screws, one in the front, one on each side. You're just gonna uh, crank them down to a little hand tight. I put some uh, blue Loctite so they won't back out. Um, I may need to adjust it a little bit. Again, this stuff you're seeing here, this is just glue from the, uh, the duct tape. So I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'm gonna get that out with the glue gun, the glue gone. So. We are ready to put this back on. And I really hope this works once I plug it in, we'll see. 
All right, so very simple. We're gonna plug this in. It should match up nicely. Let's see here. They only go in one way. All right, that's plugged in. Gonna feed the wiring back into the sidewall here. Stuff it in there. I hope you guys remember where I put my screws. They were in my back right pocket. My memory's not bad for that. Obviously, you could see I need to adjust the mirror. That's what those TED screws are for. But let me just get this mounted quickly. I may need you to give me the drill. Can you do that? <laughs> it's over here on my left side. You're definitely gonna need another person to help you out here. Because you gotta hold, either one person to hold, and while the other one gets it set up and drilled in. Put them in by hand. Get one more. Guys, if you take this to a dealership, this is probably gonna be a minimum three hours of work at $150 an hour, so this is relatively easy. Just gonna let it grab there a little bit. Oh, sorry. All right, that's holding right now, good. Now, you don't wanna crank them all down at the same time. Just get them down to set and then go around and uh, tighten them up, but not too much, because it is uh, just plastic. You don't want to cause any damage. Alright, so that's in there pretty good. I'm gonna get on the ladder. I'm just gonna obviously adjust the uh, the set screws to turn that mirror. Pull the ladder over. So in order to adjust this, again, you're just gonna I'm just gonna loosen up the set screws a bit. That Loctite is not gonna tighten up for a couple hours, so you're okay if you loosen them up a bit. All right, that, that's good, I'm gonna turn it in. I guess that's kind of how we want it now. It's all gonna depend what I see in that mirror. I could always adjust it again. Don't want to crank it down too tight, just a little bit more than full. Once you feel a little tension, just give it a little bit more, but not much. All right, that should be good right there. All right, what I'm gonna do now, uh, I'm gonna run inside, um, test the mirror out, MJ will film it. I just wanna make sure this mirror works. God, I hope it does. So um, I'm gonna cut out, she'll come back with the focus on the mirror. I'm just gonna test it out, make sure it works. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so there was a nice, it was a thin bead of caulk on here. I tried to scrape some of it up. It's silicone. If you're gonna seal silicone, it has to be silicone on silicone. This is the same stuff that they use in the Numar factory. So I'm just gonna run a thin bead around. I have my little tool to make everything neat. I also have some paper towel in one of my pockets to clean up any excess. No big deal, it's just to keep out any moisture, okay? So I'm gonna, I've already used this tube before. So I'm just gonna run a nice thin bead here. You don't need to get in close, but guys, you get it. It's just gonna be a thin bead. 
the silicone and that's just simply to keep out any moisture um, they don't go underneath from the factory they just kind of go around the bottom is not sealed from the factory so I'm gonna do it the same way I'm not gonna uh, seal it underneath all right come on this side that little excess I'll just clean up or I'll just peel it off I hate the smell of silicone nobody has smelled silicone it smells like really bad like toxic and that's it okay I'm gonna use my little tool here just to smooth it out you can get this at Home Depot it's just a, a little caulking tool so it makes everything come out nice and neat Let's push everything down, make it even. This doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be um, clean. It's there, and then I'll wipe off any of that excess with the paper towel. This stuff cleans right up, guys, so don't worry. If you get any on there, uh, you can clean it up with some uh, prep ball. Um, paint solvent, the stuff you use to clean before you're going to paint. But it's cleaning up right now. I was going to get some new paper towel. It's easier to clean it when it's wet versus when it's dry, and then it's like annoying. Just remember with paper towel, you don't want to scrape hard on the paint because you don't want to scratch it. I'm just lightly uh, blotting this out. Now I'll take a little uh, goo gone. With the microfiber towel, you don't have to worry about scratching. Paper towel you do. So squirt a little goo gone, goo gone on here. Clean up any excess. And again, if I in the morning if I come and, and there's some dry, this stuff cleans up. It's not it's not a big deal. Um, don't, don't go too crazy about it. You can get it off with some other uh, paint prep products. And for now, that's pretty good. If I want to clean it up some more, I will do that. Um, as far as this stuff, i just give you a quick sample because it's starting to get dark out here and the mosquitoes are gonna tear me up in a second. So I'm just gonna show you, I'm just gonna do this little part right here. I'm gonna finish this up when there's a daylight out so I don't get torn up by the mosquitoes. That's why I can't wait till it gets cold out because those little guys are gone. So here, you see it, that was that little part there. You just use the goo gone. I'll do one more. You see the little white there, the gray, the glue? Scrape, scrape up and down. The stuff will come off. Just takes a little elbow grease, a little time. So I'll come out here tomorrow. I'll do all that nonsense uh, cleaning up. And guys, there it is. What I'll do tomorrow also, I'll, I'll just polish this out a little bit. Uh, the, the auto body shop did a good job. They missed a couple of spots, but I'm a little OCD. So I'm gonna polish it out. I'll wax it. And I will learn to take my time on the toll plazas. It costs us about 300 bucks between the part and the paint. If you go to a dealership, I could probably guarantee double that, if not more. So DIY, there's no way of getting around to buying the part, you gotta get it painted. I hope you learned something from this video. Um, take your time through the toll booths, but if it happened to me, I'm sure it happened to somebody else. So I hope this video helped you guys. We got good news, our, our page got monetized today, which is awesome. So you might start seeing ads by the time this comes up. Uh, there's no Amazon affiliate links here because there's really nothing for you to buy. Um, so we thank you guys for your support. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you learned something. Make sure you give us the thumbs up, subscribe, share, um, comment. We love when you guys do that. So myself and MJ, in northern New Jersey is getting cold and dark. 
We thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road.